So Marvel Studios is officially pivoting away from King to the poor response performance of Ant-Man and Jonathan Mazes' legal troubles. So this is another big failure for Marvel because this is supposed to be the next big bad villain. But apparently the MCU went out of men who would be King and ended out with a big buzz of multiverse across the world. It said right at the tiniest of whispers. The new report that Marvel Studios has been eventually is going to make a pivot away from this character as well with recent legal troubles. This means likely these Avengers movies that they were planning to make around 2026 to 2027, these massive crossover movies, well, guess what? They're done. They're not being made. Okay? Because Kang was supposed to be the central villain of these. They're, he, they're like, he is supposed to be the main bad guy. Yo. Yo. But the first sources that Kang, Dynasty and Defensive Secret Wars, are either minimizing or ex- excluding him entirely. As well. It's a curious twist, but K- Kit and Coates are contrary to the MCU way away from King was not made in response to his and not oh not in his response, but also the abysmal performance of Edmund Wars Quantumania. The fact that no one liked that movie is no one surprised there. But the King Dynasty gained the new the move moved the title's name to Parallel Blade. Through sources for Mazes Convention, the studio was making moves to minimize the character after Quantumania performed. Underperformed. Obviously, the whole thing with Jonathan Mazes happened after Quantum Mania, so this was a decision that was already made. I think the Jonathan Mazes case, what he did, also made it even worse. Nobody Kit and Couch are not the first to suggest that Mazes' fate the MCU has been sealed long before the event of a guilty verdict. So that means King Dynasty is not releasing. That's basically it. Quantumania did so poorly than expectations that they said, King, you're done for. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.